Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a single product page using Elementor with completely customized design. So uh, for this, you will need Woo WooCommerce installed and Elementor installed. Okay, first of all, come to your product section in your admin panel and choose a product for which you want to make a custom design. For example, I'll use this one. Let's edit the page with Elementor or let's first edit the page simply and also view this that uh, how it looks like without uh, editing with Elementor. So this is the page with basic design from WooCommerce and some related products, some description, reviews, category and thumbnail. Okay, we will customize uh, this product design to a completely dynamic and uh, new design. So come to the edit product again and first of all change the template the post attribute template from default to full width or canvas let's choose canvas if it have the menu update let's check it on the front end and this is how it looks like so uh, we do not need the canvas we will change it to full width because we want our menu and footer from our default theme now come and refresh okay now we have our menu and our uh, footer but we have to customize this area now come to your product again or we have this edit with Elementor as well but uh, it will not work because first we have to click on this click on edit with Elementor okay now you can see the description of the post and uh, the product but nothing else so we will first remove this row completely and we'll add our own okay first of all uh, we will add a full row full width row for the breadcrumbs and come to the elements scroll down to the WooCommerce and product page just type breadcrumbs here WooCommerce breadcrumb and drag it here it will show the category and uh, the product name as well okay now we will add the second row with two columns one for image gallery and one for some short description or uh, first we will add a title which will be a full width row drag the full width above this and click on add here type title so uh, we will add the product title page title post title product title this one drag it to the product title section to the full width column and now we will add a uh, carousel and we will use media carousel for this click here and search for media drag media carousel to this section
you don't have to worry about the contents of breadcrumb or title because it's the default product page and it will automatically get it but uh, all you have to do is getting the correct widget to this one okay in the items uh, I'll remove four and five because I will only need uh, three slides this is the DNK black shoes so I'm adding the shoes images from my media library this one now next image I look for uh, the shoes more shoes for second and third item okay now I'll uh, reshape the slider from the slides change the skin from carousel to slideshow and you can see that it's more professional and a product like page now okay now here I'll add some excerpt and the add to cart button click on add and scroll down to the product section Uh, here is also the product images but I just use media library uh, media carousel okay add the short description which is excerpt of our product and then we will add some the product price price below the short description or above the short description because usually uh, we use price above the short description we will have to add a uh, separator but uh, I think it's enough now come to product page product section again add product rating below the price and now uh, add to cart button I'll add add to cart button above the price Okay, drag add to cart below the excerpt because it looks good here and the price as well now get the stock status I'll place them between price and add to cart button now I'll add uh, some description for description I'll use full width row and come to your widget section and scroll down to the product the product data tabs which will have description and reviews both of them as well as additional information 
now the final part which is related products I'll add a new row and then come to the product section widgets and drag the related products widget to this one this design is pretty much sim simple and similar to the actual design but uh, the intention of making this video is to make all these things simpler for you so uh, you can customize your WooCommerce single page whatever you need whichever uh, place you want to place your contents so click on update and let's check how it will look like come to the front end and refresh the page now you can see the page look more dynamic than uh, the previous one and also there is a previous and next button so you can uh, switch between products you can see the carousel and the related products and everything is in their place and also this page is uh, mobile responsive for every screen you want to view for tablet or mobile phone so you also don't have to worry about the responsiveness of the page so uh, that was all for today's video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you